All right, welcome everyone to the Indie Contributors Working Group call for May 21st, 2024. Today on the agenda, um, we'll hear any updates that there are on the Ubuntu 22.04 upgrade, uh, follow-up discussion on the ledger redaction uh, meeting last week, and uh, any updates and discussion related to Indie Bezu and any other topics that anyone would like to bring to the call. Uh, we're recording, of course, um, be posted here later today. We're following the antitrust, uh, the Linux Foundation antitrust policy and the Hyperledger Code of Conduct. If you'd like to put your name on the um, attendees list here, that would be wonderful. And let's see, any, uh, any announcements that anyone would like to make? Um, we have the indie quarterly report. It looks like the PR is still open if you'd like to take a look and and give feedback. Um, other than that, um, jump in if you have any announcements or any topics to add to the agenda. I have a quick announcement type thing. Um, we've been uh, mentioning in this meeting for a few times now that the Indicio testnet was going to be reset. Um, that reset has uh, completed and was successful, and uh, all the tools are um, updated for that. So that's available for uh, the community to begin using again. A, a reminder for anybody that's uh, that's uh, listening to the recording, I guess, uh, the Indicio testnet and the Indicio demo net are both free networks. Uh, that Indicio provides as part of being a public benefit corporation and uh, to help further um, digital identity in the world. And then we also have a uh, production or mainnet that uh, uh, once you we're done uh, trying things out on the other networks that you can move to uh, for a small fee. Um, one other thing I'll mention is that the uh, um, I was able to, in our indie scan, preserve a, a, a copy of the old testnet uh, transactions uh, for the last year, since the last reset, and that is uh, preserved inside of our indie scan. You can just click on the testnet-2023 and see that. Uh, for information about how to do that, how to preserve old transactions in indie scan, you can get a hold of me and, and I can help you do that for anybody that's interested in um, being able to preserve older networks in IndieScan. Thanks. Great, thank you for that update. That's great to hear. All right, any other announcements before we jump in or topics to add to the agenda? Or if you are new to the call and would like to introduce yourself, um, now would be a great time. Uh, hello. Hello. Hi, hi. Uh, this is Pranay on Pranay Das. I'm new to the call. And uh, uh, I started uh, like uh, exploring the indie project, I think, two weeks back. And uh, yeah, this is my first contributor call. So I got to know about this program through the LFX mentorship site and yeah, was just going through the project and the issues. I'm currently a master's student at Purdue, Purdue University, uh, pursuing cybersecurity. Great, thank you so much for, for joining the call. We're glad you're here. Thank you, thank you. Thank you everyone. Great. Unless there are any more um, announcements or introductions, we can probably go right ahead and jump into the agenda. Uh, let's start with the Ubuntu 22.04 upgrade. Uh, Kim, did you have any updates you wanted to give on that? Um, still working through some uh, issues with the uh, IndieNode side. Um, 
uh, but I don't have anything else interesting to report on that other than I'll continue that work uh, this week. Okay, sounds great. Sounds great. Good to hear. Um, let's see. Our next item on the agenda is a uh, follow-up discussion related to the ledger redaction meeting last week, last Thursday. Um, we wanted to just take some time to um, have a follow-up discussion. It was discussed whether to redact objects, uh, NIMs, schemas, cred defs, et cetera, or to redact transactions. Uh, the result of, of that discussion was a fairly concise difference between the two approaches, and it sounds like the two um, are roughly equivalent. Um, so the next thing to do is to decide which one to pursue. Um, curious if anyone has thoughts or, or opinions to share on the different options. Uh, excuse me, are we going to uh, publish somewhere maybe on, maybe on GitHub uh, options and requirements and uh, not only slides, but maybe some bigger discussion and notes from the previous call. And also, as I mentioned uh, on the <laughs> summit call, uh, I don't think that we have to choose uh, only one option. There are two possibilities and for different requirements and different goals. So I don't see any points of making a battle <laughs> about this. Just maybe implement both of them. I mean, both of our approaches. Just to have both options in case for your use case, you want to redact an, an object versus a transaction. Yeah, yeah. Because there are, I believe, different people with different goals uh, who want uh, who want uh, uh, doing this, like uh, end user, like usual user with the mobile application wants just remove some object like the DID, and so another case when it is something uh, difficult for endorsement for a specific operator who want to change transaction specific transaction, not just an object. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. Other thoughts or uh, considerations since last Thursday? Do we have some place uh, where we publish all thoughts about this? That's a great question. I'll I'll check in with Stephen about that. Yeah, mm -hmm. it'd be good to have a a place to have the discussion asynchronously as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Because we had some also some documents uh, like requirements, uh, maybe high level design, some estimates or something like this that we will be happy to share also. Okay. Right. So it felt like we didn't finish the discussion on Thursday. Is there going to be another meeting where we talk some more about it, or how is the how is the final decisions or um, architecture going to be decided? So it looks like there is a second meeting scheduled for this Friday, seven a.m. Mountain Time. Yeah, that wasn't intended to be a technical discussion, if I remember correctly. That was more of a funding or something else discussion. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, it, it might make sense to have a continuation of the technical discussion as well. Yeah, I can chat with Stephen about that to see if we want to get a, a second technical meeting on the calendar for that, or if we want to um, have that during the, the next uh, Indie Contributors Working Group call, or uh, yeah, we can figure out what the best path forward for that is.
Are there any other thoughts that anyone would like to share on this call uh, related to the ledger reduction options um, in response to last Thursday's meeting? All right, well, we can uh, continue the discussion and uh, make sure that we have a place for um, to continue the, the conversation asynchronously outside of meetings as well and, and share any documentation that is useful and relevant. So great. Uh, our next topic is um, any updates related to Indibasio. Uh, I'll hand it over to you, Renata. Would you like to screen share? Um, no, thank you. Only if there were any questions. Mm, so uh, for last two weeks, uh, I updated some dependencies. Uh, frankly speaking, I've updated almost all dependencies because I uh, found some uh, notifications about vulnerabilities in uh, crypto libraries and understood that it <laughs> doesn't uh, look good. And updated, uh, I believe all of them that suggested dependable and also that were available, like new versions. Uh, so, uh, and also I wanted to remind about a small pull request to uh, in the uh, DID methods uh, repo. Mm, so I wanted to ask Sam, uh, if you don't mind, could you please uh, put maybe a formal approval uh, to collect approvals? <laughs> <laughs> with this pull request. And I wanted to oh, find... Mm -hmm. yeah. I apologize. I saw the merged at the end and realized that there was a mention of the pull request, not a merge pull request. I apologize. No. I'll, I'll, go <laughs> okay. I'll go stick an approval on there. Yeah. Thank you a lot. Thank you a lot. Uh, I just uh, wanted to say that this pull request is waiting for merge for two months. And if everyone don't find and have some time for my digital review or merge uh, i will be absolutely happy because of this and i also know that uh, wait ha has uh, uh, physical and moral uh, permissions to merge this pull request so don't want to push anyone but <laughs> if so, it's possible could you please merge? So, renata mm -hmm. i've appro i've approved that but i'm not listed as an approved reviewer <laughs> <laughs> so uh, but but it is listed that i have marked it as yes which is helpful for anyone reviewing but it I'm, is I'm, not, helpful. I'm not i'm not good enough to uh i'm not good enough to add an approving review because i'm apparently an unapproved <laughs> reviewer so there's that we found the same with alexander Sherbakov. so i have uh two important approvals uh there but <laughs> I don't Who's, understand why, but it is still enough. <laughs> well, it's it's uh, it's the people that have right access to the repo. I'm mm -hmm, going to go mm -hmm. look at yeah, this yeah, and yeah. see. Um, it's inside of Hyperledger. It's actually now that I think about mm -hmm. it, there's usually a code owner's file. That, Sorry, you know, which some, which a uh, pull request is this again? It's that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, Indy did method. Yeah. So it looks like the active maintainers are listed as Daniel Bloom, Stephen Curran, Paul Bastian, and Dominic Warner. Uh, and so I think one of those needs to approve it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, in order to have an approved review. Um, Daniel Bloom is probably worth pursuing on that just because of his sort of awareness of all the things. I think it would be a good to have him take a look at it anyway. If you have, have uh, the link to this list, uh, oh, wait, thank you a lot. Oh, there you Wade's, go. Wade's cool enough. Wade <laughs> Magic. Cool enough. It's a good thing we have Wade here. Because the place also much, uh, I'm embarrassed of doing this. <laughs> mm, okay. Uh, squash and merge, okay? or? Uh, some mentioned that it will be good to keep story, but there are no so sp uh, some specific commits that I believe squash is okay. Uh, squash or have, everything we that don't, you want. We don't have a regular merge commit option on this. We have a squash and merge or rebase. And okay, merge, 
Okay, then we don't need to uh, have any specific opinion for this topic. So, as you wish, as you wish. Okay. Let's do that. Thank you a lot. Thank you for all your approvals. Now I can sleep calm <laughs> about this. <laughs> Thank you a lot. And that's it with updates about uh, Indibezo. Great. Thank you so much. To get that merged in. Uh, let's see. With that, that's everything that we had planned on our agenda. Are there any new topics that anyone would like to add um, or any anything else that anyone would like to bring up on this call today? All right. We can go ahead and, and call it. Thanks everyone for joining the call and for your updates and discussion. And we'll see you all in two weeks. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you.